Okay, sharks have always been a wonderful feature here at SeaWorld. Sharks Underwater Grill is a great place to see them. But now it sounds like you're going to be sparking a lot more interest in these amazing predators of the ocean. You're going to have a roller coaster, but you're going to have plenty of live sharks here for people to see too. That's right. Now, the Shark Encounter, which we've all known and loved for many years, and Sharks Underwater Grill will still be part of the Mako realm, which we're very excited about. But now there's even more coming. There's more of an educational component in addition to the roller coaster. So when guests walk through the realm, they'll learn all about sharks, about Makos, and about the sharks that we have here at SeaWorld. And they'll leave SeaWorld with hopefully a better understanding of sharks and more passion to help uh, protect them, protect their environments in the ocean. Yes, I heard you saying earlier that really sharks should be more afraid of us than we are of them. That's right. You know, a lot of people have this mis misunderstanding that sharks are ferocious monsters in the ocean, but the actuality is that humans are killing more sharks than, than vice versa. We're actually, it's estimated that we're killing 100 million sharks a year around the world, which is, you know, horrible to think about. So what we need to do is educate our guests that come to SeaWorld about how we can take steps to protect them and make sure that we keep their population sustainable. And I understand this is a great environment for sharks. I heard you saying that these sharks have been here, many of them, since the 1980s? That's right. So a lot of these sharks that you see right behind me came here in the 1980s, and they were adults then, which means that they're at least 30 or 40 years old now, which you know, just shows that they're thriving in our care and they're doing really well. And it sounds like, because I always kind of think of sharks like I think of the orcas, they're so intelligent, and the dolphins, but I heard you saying earlier that these sharks they have some target training too. That's right. You know, we train all of our animals in the park with positive reinforcement. So what we've done here is some basic training with the sharks in regards to food stations. So they, eat, they all know where they go to get their food, and it's kind of like a dinner table set up where each family member sits at the same place maybe every night for dinner. The sharks have their stations that they go to, and they get fed about twice a week. Now it doesn't seem like a lot because you and I eat a lot more than twice a week, but sharks are cold-blooded animals, so their metabolisms are a lot slower and they don't need nearly as much food as warm-blooded animals. Oh, that's fascinating, and um, I, so that's something new that I've learned, and I really hope that the new roller coaster is going to bring more people in to see them up close and personal and learn more about them here at SeaWorld. I'm so excited about that as well. Thank you. Now, mako sharks are one of the fastest sharks in the world, which is why we chose the mako for this new roller coaster. And the coaster is actually simulating the actual swimming behavior of mako sharks. They jump up and out of the water, they ambush their prey, they're very fast and agile. So, beautiful sharks, a lot to learn about them.